Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to readings. We're going to do an aqua I'm sorry. We're going to do a Capricorn reading. <laughs> uh, this is for the next seven days, Capricorn. We're going to go to the Radiant Rider. Radiant Rider for Capricorn. Capricorn. The ball has been very active today. Very active. So keep an eye there. And keep an eye behind me. You never know who just might come by. Capricorn. Let's get her on. And let's get her done. Seven days. Capricorn. Star card. Followed by temperance. You're on the right path. Stay on this path that you're on, Capricorn. You're on the right path. This is dipping your toes into a pool of water, but not jumping in. Just dipping, dabbling. Three of Cups, some kind of great um, celebration. Now that could be coming this weekend. Some sort of great celebration. So if you're invited somewhere, stay on course and say, okay, I'm going to go. The Eight of Swords in the reverse, this is going to take you out of your head. So stay on course. Great possibilities that you will be celebrating very, very soon. Eight of Swords reverse. Now the Eight of Swords, as we know, it is a mind tornado all wrapped up in the head. Too much going on up there. Don't quite know what's happening. Too many thoughts, can't process. But releasing this Eight of Swords, being able to move through these swords. Spirit. The Queen of Swords in the reverse. Not being so very judgmental. Now the Queen of Swords is someone who can judge something very, very quickly. It is someone who uses great intuition. But in the reverse, it's being able to not be judgmental. It's to just sit back and observe. To see the things that's happening around you. The two of wands. You're at the crossroads, Capricorn. Something's about to happen here. With the Five of Swords in the reverse. This is letting go of all control. This is absolute and total surrender. Whatever is coming towards you, and i got a feeling it's going to be this weekend, I want you to go to whatever it is that's going on that you're invited to. Whatever it is, go. With judgment in the reverse, no judgment. <laughs> There's something happening here, Capricorn. This is just sitting back and watching, taking it all in. No judgment. No up in the head. No overthinking things that people are doing or saying. But just watching. Learning. Let's keep going. The Queen of Wands, somebody steps in here. Hold on. Have strength. Ace of Swords. There's some sort of triumph here. There's a possibility somebody just might be a passionate somebody. Somebody who's not a bad person. Once in a while they get a little bit too passionate. They might get a little bit upset or angry. But as a, a passionate someone who's been in your life, and I got a feeling that whatever this celebration is, they will be there. You're going to see a lot that you have not seen before. Having the strength to overcome something with the Ace of Swords. Having the strength 
the triumph over something. Now, I don't know, Capricorn, if maybe you're grieving for someone, but wherever you're going to go, you're going to run into someone. And that someone is someone who might have made you angry in the past or might have caused you to be all up in yours and make judgment calls. But your triumph is sitting there and watching and, and seeing things. And it'll bring a much clearer picture to you. Very interesting reading. Chariot in the reverse. Emperor. Eight of Pentacles. You know, you the possibility you could be a bit of a workaholic at times. But you feel sometimes you're going nowhere fast. But this is good. Because this is the time when you feel like you're going nowhere fast. This is the time when things begin to change. With the Emperor here. You know, all in all, you have a very good um, thought for yourself. You have a lot of self-confidence. You have a lot of belief in yourself. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is working. Working on this belief in myself. You're about to triumph over something. Five of Cups reversed. This is no more looking into the past. This triumph could be finally getting someone to see things your way. This triumph could be uh, bringing together you with a loved one. Or it just could be, it just could be seeing something in somebody that you never saw before and realizing some sort of truth and being triumphant over it. With the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, my God, your ship is coming in. With the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, a gift being presented to you. And this gift is your ship coming in. I think you've been waiting for this ship, whatever it may be. In 10 days, in seven days, I'm sorry. In seven days, your ship is coming in. Now, it could be something you never saw before. It could be clarity. But whatever it is, it is a gift. And you'll see it as a gift. The Wheel of Fortune, by God. The wheel is turning in your favor. Look at this. Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups. Okay. Capricorn, something's about to be revealed to you. And how is it revealed? By you not having any judgment. By you just sitting and observing. And listening and watching and seeing. A great awareness and an awakening of something that you never saw before. And I do feel that you've been working on yourself. That you have a lot of um, love for yourself. And, and this is excellent. But there's some great celebration that's on its way. And you must go to this. Because somebody important will be there. And it's either the coming together of two people that couldn't come together. Or it could be the awakening and seeing something about this other person that you never quite saw before. And even though there's no judgment, understanding now. Wheel of Fortune and the Ace Cups. Bless your heart, darling. We have Cancer and Virgo. Aries, Cancer again. Leo. Taurus. Virgo again. 
Libra. Pisces. Virgo again. And Aquarius. Okay. It sounds like a very interesting 10 days. I want to thank you for joining me today, Capricorn. And if you like the way I read, please like and share. And on your way out the door, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell. So you know next time that Spirit and I are here to speak with you. Namaste.